Hello folks. In this video I'm going to show you how to obtain and install Eclipse um, on a Mac, but this should pertain to any operating system you have. The setup is relatively uniform, um, depending on where you keep it. It might be a little different. We're going to just go to Eclipse.org. I don't normally use Safari, but my uh, Firefox is uh, pretty busy right now, so we're going to open this up once I get some Wi-Fi here. Let's go to .eclipse.org. Here we go. Okay, here's the main page of the Eclipse uh, website. And as you can see right now, get started now. Download Eclipse. That's what we want. Here we go. Now it's going to automatically detect that I'm on a Mac, so you can see it's brought me to the Mac downloads. You can choose a different uh, operating system here, um, but I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to stick with that, and I'm going to scroll down here. I also develop in, um, I mainly develop in Python, um, but Eclipse IDE for Java developers, um, that's going to work for uh, stuff that we're going to do here. So I'm just going to go, I've got a 32-bit, so I'm going to click this, and I'm going to download this here. Uh, t -t -t -t, that's fine. And that's going to start downloading. Um, I'm going to continue when I've downloaded this. I actually may already have the uh, install file, so uh, let's finish. Let's uh, speed up this download. I've already downloaded. Now, if you're downloading for Linux or Mac system, it's going to be in a tarball or a .tar.gz file, which you would just then extract. Um, both in Mac and Linux, I'm sure that you can just double-click it on the uh, graphical user interface file explorer that you're using, um, or you can do that from the command line um, just to extract it into... Uh, I just did this into a folder named Eclipse. And um, if you're on Windows, note that you will be downloading just a regular zip file and you extract that and you get pretty much the same stuff here except it's going to be Eclipse.exe instead of .app. Um, and also for, uh, for Linux it'll have a different uh, extension if it has an extension at all. Um, so now I've got Eclipse on my computer and um, I'm going to drag this down to my dock here and boom. Um, I'm not going to put this in my applications folder because as you can see it does have a lot of other files with it. Um, so now I'm ready to go and I'm going to click here and it's going to open up clips. And this takes a little bit to load. I'm going to go ahead and pause this while it loads. And we're back up and running. And you notice the first thing it asks you to do is to select a workspace. This is like a place where it's going to store um, the files associated with your Eclipse environment. And I'm going to do this in a folder I've got in my home folder, Programming. Since this is the uh, beginning of the Java uh, environment, oh look, I've already got Eclipse Workspace under Java. Um, my little Java programming folder. So let's go ahead and select that, and I'm going to click OK. If you have one workspace that you're always going to be using, you can go ahead and do Use This as the default and Do Not Ask Again. I do switch between environments often, so uh, I'm going to leave that unchecked and click OK. And it'll load a little more. You can see it's uh, busy up here, and boom, we've got Eclipse open for the first time. Um, you can choose whether or not to upload data on your usage to Eclipse so that it can uh, find out information about what the user's use Eclipse for. Um, I'm going to choose to do that and we're going to finish and we are in Eclipse um, all ready to start uh, Java programming. Uh, in some other videos I'm going to show you how to set up Eclipse for different programming languages and different um, programming environments. Uh, stay tuned, more on that later.